lot of people right now are going through this. A lot of fake friends out there, frenemies, demons, you know, people who are sent to distract you and take you from your higher self, from your path. If you are chosen, there are going to be people chosen by the devil to take you off of your path and to distract you. Because when you're on your path to your highest self and your blessings are about to come, there are going to be people who don't like that and don't want to see you win and they want to see you at that low vibe with them. I'm going to give you guys nine powerful signs that you have fake friends. And if you're new, make sure you like and subscribe for more self-help and spiritual content. Let's get into the fake friends. First sign of a frenemy. They never genuinely are happy for you, you know? There's those people that are around you, you know, and you'll go and tell them good things because you feel so good about your good news or you just started a YouTube channel or you just started making music or you just started a new career or you're studying for something and you're happy and you want to share this with people. But sometimes, you got to pick and choose and don't get confused. You got to manifest in silence sometimes because a lot of people, they don't want to see you win because they're not doing well themselves. They don't want to see you doing well either. They won't be genuinely happy for you. You can go and tell them something and you could feel that. Like you'll post your first YouTube video or you'll start making a new TikTok or you'll post your graduation or something and they won't comment. They won't repost. Sometimes they won't even like it. Maybe they will just to kind of show like, hey, I'm here supporting you, but they're faking it. They won't like it. They won't repost it. They won't comment. And it's so funny because especially the people like who are on social media all the time, they'll go and repost celebrities. They'll go and repost like random people they see on like Instagram and stuff like that, but they won't repost their own people. They won't support you. And it's crazy because it's always the people closest to you. You know what I'm saying? Your worst enemy can be right by your side. Literally, it could be a family member. It could be a friend, a so-called friend, a lover. It could be someone who's just trying to be there, an acquaintance, and trying to act supportive to you. The second sign of a fake friend. You feel like you cannot be your true self around them. And there's those people out there. You know, growing up for me, sometimes you go out, you try to be yourself, and people just feel like, why is this guy always so happy? You know what I mean? And they, you feel like... It's not, maybe they don't even say it to you, but you feel like you can't even just be happy around them or you can't smile. You want to know why? Because your spirit irritates their demons. So sometimes when you're just so happy and people don't like that, it irritates them. You know what I'm saying? Because your light's shining so bright. Quick little tune in. This guy's been like my best friend. Dog, spelled backwards, is actually God. So you don't need friends. Go get yourself a dog. Yeah, so sometimes, remember, there's people out there who don't like the sun. You know, so when you're shining so bright and you're smiling and you're happy and you're cheerful, do not dim your light for anybody. You shine that brightness and people want to see you fall, but guess what? The sun rises every morning and it always comes back. Shine your light. Third sign of a fake friend, FOMO, which is fear of missing out. There's these friends that will call you every day just to see what you're doing, just to make sure you're not doing anything spontaneous because they're afraid of missing out on the fun. So they want to call you just to make sure that, okay, he's just at home, he's not doing anything right now. Oh, okay, what are you doing today? Oh, you're just at home, you're just running errands? Okay. They always want to call you and know your business just because they want to make sure you're not doing anything without them. Come chill with me and hear all my problems. Hey, let's just talk for an hour. Hey, let's play video games. Let's just do... A bunch of nothing just so you're not doing something better than I am. I want to keep you where I'm at. As long as you're not moving, I'm, I'm okay with that. And that is another sign of a fake friend. The fourth sign of a fake friend or a frenemy. Sometimes they're going to put their negative beliefs in your mind. I want to start making music. Oh, are you sure you want to make music? Like, there's so many people who make music out there. Like, you know. Shut up! Yo, I want to start a YouTube channel. Really? What are you going to talk about? I heard it's so hard to get, like, monetized on YouTube. Like, shut up! And do not listen to these people. These people are going to put so many disbeliefs and things in your mind. They're going to put these negative thoughts in your head. There's sometimes where I'll even want to go and help out a friend or help out a family member. And I'll be like, yo, I see you running your business. You know what I mean? And that's amazing. I'm happy for them. I'm really, like, genuinely happy. And maybe there's something that I've learned through my experience that I want to share with them like yo like you know maybe make an Instagram or a TikTok it'll help you grow it'll help you get out there faster and right away they won't even appreciate the compliment or appreciate the advice oh you know what I was thinking of doing that already you're thinking about doing it why don't you do it yet then 
You know what I mean? They just didn't want to hear it come from you. And then a couple of weeks later, they're going to do it. But they just didn't want to give you that appreciation, that blessing. Like, yeah, thanks, man. I really appreciate you helping me. Literally, that is a huge sign. That is a huge red flag of a fake friend. And there's so many people out there that do but it. But right just, there, what they're doing, backhandedly dissing you. You know what I mean? And it makes you feel bad. So anything that makes you feel bad, people like that. Stay far away from these people, man. Separate to elevate. If you see any of these signs or more than one of these signs in somebody that's around you, run. Run far away. Get out. You know what I'm saying? Because they will drag you down with them. The fifth sign of a friend of me, a fake friend. They have something or someone to talk about. They always gossip with you. They will gossip about you. Those people out there just love to spread negative energy. They just love to talk about other people, this person, that person. Oh my gosh, can you believe what happened to this person? Oh my God, can you believe like what this person is doing? Shut up! How about we talk about business, fun things, things that are of high vibrations, going to the gym. When you start bringing that up, they want to change the subject and talk about something else. They don't really care to hear that. Stay far from these people. I'm telling you, they're dangerous, man. There's, see how we are chosen and there's people that work for the light. There are also people out there who work for the dark you know what i'm saying and you want to stay far from those people if you want to live in abundance love joy enlightenment you got to stay far from these people who are jealous have anger grief you don't have their own demons and trauma that they're battling they have their own shadow work to do and sometimes you trying to bless them could actually drag you down with them so you make sure you stay connected to source and the people around you that are on the same vibration but never lower yourself or go down to meet somebody at their level make them come up to meet you the sixth sign is they are hurt if you say no there is a big power in saying no you know what i mean we only have a certain amount of yeses in the day that we can give we have a certain amount of energy spiritually and physically that we can kind of give so if we're always saying yes to everybody you know what I mean it takes away from our own power from our own energy you know sometimes we got to stop pouring out our cup into other people's and filling theirs and we got to pour that self-love back into us one time that you need a break you don't want to do something for somebody and you tell them you know what man I would love to help you but this time honestly I just can't you said yes so many times but the one time you say no all that goes down the drain. They're just like, oh, you're a backstabber, you're a betrayal, you know what I mean? They have this different energy with you. I've been going through it. I see a lot of other people kind of going through it. You have to cut off all the dead weight and all the things that are no longer serving you and you bringing you down, things that you don't resonate with. People, places, things, and it has to be cut right now for you to elevate and rise above. I had this one family member where I went on a vacation. I went to Mexico and this person I was super tight with. Because I was out there without them and I was having such a good time and I was posting and I'm having fun, they couldn't even watch my stories. It would hurt them to watch my excitement or my happiness. And that is how you know that there's a friend of me. There are fake friends. They're jealous. There's people out there that don't want to see you win if they're not involved in that picture. They don't want to see you have fun if they're not there. Get really real with yourself. Look at your surroundings and ask questions. Pay attention to what people do. Never let the little things go over your head because people do subtle things and they know what they're doing. Never give them the benefit of the doubt. They're like, oh, maybe they're just having a bad day or maybe they're... No, 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 no. They know what they're doing. Stay far from these people. They're red flags. They are sent to throw you off your path and destroy you the eighth sign you always feel this little inner competition like these people are trying to compete with you never compete with anybody besides yourself the only person I compete with and you should compete with how you were doing last year or the year before that always just look back and see if you were doing better than you were before because everybody was dealt a different set of cards in life we all have our own path there's nothing to compete with be your own person be your own boss be your own man your own woman who if you're watching this you are chosen you have your own calling you were born alone and you were gonna die alone so walk your own path stay in your own lane people that try to compete with you cut them off any little competition unless it's like sports or a game you're playing and it's actually funny because when you're playing a game and something gets like a little a little conflict rises you will see the real them their true colors and how mad they really get the ninth sign is subliminals they'll even sometimes post things about you and say it's not about you, they're just posting it just to get it off their chest or just because that's how they're feeling that day. Let's take this for an example. Like, I'm going to the gym. Like, one of your friends like, oh, who needs to go to the gym when you're already a big weight? Or, but when they give you those little subliminal messages, pay attention and pay attention to who's paying attention. Cut that energy off right away. There are people out there holding their breath, waiting for you to fail. Make those motherfuckers suffocate. You know what I'm saying? They want to hold their breath waiting for you to fall, but guess what? They didn't know you are the GOAT. 
you know what I'm saying, you can climb mountains and you have a strength behind you, you are chosen, you have the God divine powers behind you that no one can take you off that path except yourself if you choose to go a different way. Follow your intuition, follow God. I hope this message resonated with you guys and if it did, send it to a friend, a family member, someone that needs to hear this because I know a lot of people are going through this right now and cut these guys out of your life. Blessings.